Hey everyone, today I wanted to make a video and show you how to use the find function in Excel, which is extremely helpful as you have a very specific piece of data that you're trying to find in a spreadsheet. So here I have a little, little sample um, that I'm going to be working with and we'll show you how to go about doing that. So there's a couple, there's two really easy ways that we can use the find function. So the first of which is just control F. And when you hit control F, what it's going to do is it's going to open this window and then it's going to ask, what do you want to find? And so easy enough, you just put the information in there. I'm going to go ahead and show you the other way, a shortcut. And so, however, you can also use on the, the home tab in Excel, you can use find and select and then go to find. And so it's going to give you the same window to search data. So all you have to do is type the name John. So let's say we're looking for John find next, it's going to go ahead and highlight the top match for John in your data. And then it will go down to the next John and it will, it will just toggle through everywhere that there's John in your worksheet. So you'll see it will just kind of go back and forth. What's interesting is if you have a, uh, a range selected and you hit find next, it's going to say we couldn't find what you were looking for. Click options for more ways to search. So you have to make sure that you only search for a range. Like if, if you don't want to search within a range, you got to make sure that that section is not highlighted. So I'll hit OK there. We'll get rid of it. It'll go about finding John again. Um, but if I did want to look just specifically in this range, maybe you have another column of names, it will go ahead and search there. So let's say uh, something else is very useful is if you wanted to re replace a name. So let's say we have, we want to look for Jane now. And we just want to replace her name with Jane H. Um, you know, maybe just we'll go in and fill it in. You can do replace all. And that will go through and I'll say all done. We've made all the replacements. So it's going and taking all three of those places where I said Jane and replacing it with Jane H. Very easy to use. Very simple. Um, if you need to make edits, um, control F again is something that I use on a, on a daily basis. And so very quick and easy hotkey to remember. Anyways, I hope this was helpful and I hope you find it helpful as well. Please again, let me know if you have any other questions about other topics or more questions about this topic. And please remember to subscribe to the Excel guy.